Remember, guy, it's Irwin. Huh? It's Irwin. It's Irwin. <laughs> this guy's Sir Irwin. And he has the shop that has done my bike. And I'm going to reveal it in two minutes. Hello, good morning. Today's an exciting day because I'm on my way now to go pick up my motorbike. And you probably remember my motorbike. It's an old Roosie dirt bike kind of thing. I've had it for I've had it for a couple of years. I've only really used it here in Cateel. It's had a difficult life. It's quite rusty because it spent most of its life near the beach. Even the previous owner lived by the beach, so ah, suffered a little bit. I had a lot of fun with it, but I decided to give it a bit of TLC. So what I've done is I've given the guy a budget of 10,000 pesos, $200. And I said to him, okay, do what you can. told me it'll be ready at 8 o'clock. It's 7.30, which means I'm going to go get some provincial equivalent of junk food so that it, I don't fall apart while I'm vlogging because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Can I apologize to the entire nation of Italy because this is called bacon carbonara. Okay, I'm early, which is total opposite of Filipino time. I think they might be open. By the way, this isn't a full restoration. There's still a bit of work that needs doing, but this is the first stages and the most important part. This guy just likes accelerating. <laughs> you're like, you're like just vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Remember, guy, Irwin? Huh? It's Irwin. It's Irwin. <laughs> this guy's Irwin. <laughs> and he has the shop that has done my bike. And I'm going to reveal it in two minutes. That was working until I did it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened? No gasoline on When they do it, it works. When I do it, it doesn't work. <laughs> indicators I don't know where they went and they were stolen 
And the most important thing <laughs> That guy's not scared at all <laughs> That sounds like my truck. <laughs> something like this, something like this. Okay. Yo, yo, slash starter. Okay, this, this one, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what have you done to my bike? It works! It works so well! <laughs> First time! It's a mechanic. That's what I'm saying. Ah, Sean Mechanic. Sean Mechanic. Hey, Sean Mechanic. This guy has made my bike work. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I, I have a bill. I have a bill. 10,000. Uh, I borrow a one one thousand. So total is ten thousand six hundred forty. It's okay for you. Is it okay for me? I don't know, is it okay for me? <laughs> <laughs> of course that's okay. 10,640. Yeah. Very, very good. <laughs> if you Maybe it's okay for me. That's a good, that's a big list, huh? Can I, I want to have a look at this list again. Look at this, huh? <gasps> Commander Dartog, yes, that's me. This is my man, Danny. That's a lot of things, yes. <laughs> and these guys are legends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Gasoline's barato right now. <laughs> <laughs> so how much? How much do I pay you? Uh, Ten thousand six hundred only. Oh, that's forty. Ah, <laughs> he even gives discounts. <laughs> I wish I could catch everything he says on video because it's so funny. <laughs> he told me I should have a bodyguard. I think I think I know who my bodyguard's gonna be. It's me. <laughs> my new bodyguard, maybe. <laughs> Cinematic. Cinematic effects. Matic, matic. <laughs> Final checks. We're ready to go. Okay, so before I test drive this, I've got one more thing to get, which is about the pond. You haven't seen the pond for a while because, to be honest, nothing exciting has been happening there. Nothing new. But something new is happening. And I just need to go to the place where I took the whole lecture head and hope they don't get mad at me. Hi. Good morning, Lodi. Morning, Lodi. <laughs> it's so slow, Lodi. Lodi and. <laughs> I think there's something I know what's for me. Ah. That's a net. I'm gonna re there. I'm gonna reveal more later when I don't mess up my words by speaking too fast. By the way, sorry about the lech on head. You were shocked. I know. I know you were shocked. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. <laughs> Suki benefit. You get the lech on head. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> These guys are cool. Ah, these guys are cool. They just opened the hardware and they're not mad at me for taking their head of the pig. Back to bye-bye. Do some things there. Pond update.
I'm not actually sure where Belastig's gone because the boat's here, his motorbike's here, but he's not. So I'm gonna go cross the river by myself. I found Belastic. Ah! He's there, he's uh, bailing water out of that boat because it needs fixing. It's not mine, I'm telling you. Right, I'm gonna cross. Welcome back. Water pumps are still really, really loud. It's funny that I talk about this now that I'm actually having problems keeping water in this pond because it's brand new and it keeps keeps leaking. But I'm putting up this net because Amihan's coming and it's gonna rain a lot and the river's probably gonna flood. They told me it'll probably get to about here. So that's about, yeah, my knee height's two foot up. But I've, uh, I've put, put a good high fence in here just in case you get the, uh, the odd crazy events. Just keep the fish in the pond. Last, I know, a couple of weeks ago, the, this one kind of flooded a little bit. The water came above it, actually. It mostly came above it in the middle of the two ponds, right here, and the two groups of fish have mixed. So, I'm gonna harvest both of these in December. Actually, the growth of the bangles hasn't been very good. Um, I'm not sure what the problem is. I think there's a few things that are uh, here. Uh, my technicians told me that the fingerlings are not very good quality. Um, not sure what's going on really with the bangles. I've heard a few other things from other bangles growers that uh, the bangles recently has had high mortality. The fingerlings have been not so great. So the tilapia are smart. They seem to come towards it. And the good thing is the tilapia are looking a lot better than the bangles. So I think the bangles are gonna to start to come, the tilapia, sorry, are gonna to start to come towards me. Let's see where they are. So you can probably see a few little ready orange ones in there. They're tilapia, they're uh, red tilapia. I've got a couple of hybrid varieties in here, red and blue, and they're both performing very well, much better than the bangos. And I have a new set in here on the right, in the nursery. And now, the first time I've driven the boat in ages, I'm having problems with the engine. It's going just about, I have no idea what's wrong. There's enough gas in the tank and it's died again. It's like it's being choked, but the choke's not on. Mechanics coming later, I think. I haven't used that boat in so long that I forgot which side was choke and which side wasn't, except I tested both sides and it, I don't know what's happening, but Belastic's fixed it. I, I got the sides of the choke mixed up. That was very, very dattled of me. 
So I'm going to find some shade because I'll explain something. Uh, I haven't really done much content at the pond recently because there hasn't been much interesting going on. It's kind of just been rolling over, rolling over. Um, like I said, the Bangos is looking a bit disappointing. The tilapia looks good. So let's see what happens now in December. Um, I've been doing vlogs of other stuff, traveling. Really, I'm just trying to get used to the camera. Um, a lot of people want to see me doing more interaction, interaction kind of thing. That'll come, but for it to be natural, I'm holding a camera. I'm still not quite used to holding the camera. And that's, that's, that's really what my problem is. Um, especially with people I'm not that familiar with. And so for things to be natural, I've, I've got to learn to forget about the camera being there. And that's why I'm, I'm just doing some practicing things, practicing editing. Things will come together and the style will come together soon, I'm sure. Right, I need to test drive this bike. Direct start. First trip, pay my old tank. Size, eh? It's like sizing stick to central, eh? Hey, barangay, barangay, barangay chismis, the price of cigarettes is going up. Right at the panel truck. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> barangay life, huh? I don't smoke, but my guys do smoke, and that's, uh, that's a big budget for them. <laughs> right, I have things to do. The bike's working beautifully. <laughs> and they keep asking me, Oi, bag or motor, bag or motor. It's so funny. Could have captured some of that, but like I said, I'm not that confident with the camera yet to use it. Yeah. I think I need to put some new Nipa tiles here. For now, I'm going to put a trap on. I have something in my nose and I don't know what's making me sneeze so much. Oh dear. <laughs> Tuck and go into bed for a couple of days while I go on a trip somewhere. Hi. The bike's being treated like a baby. And now maybe I should rebaptize it and get a new name for it. More vlogs with the revamped Rusi soon because I think I can definitely have a few exciting adventures because driving a pickup is fun. However, I like bikes. I like bikes and it doesn't feel so stressful. You don't get stressed by people driving slowly in front of you. You don't get stressed by tricycles. I like my bike. Right, I've stopped sneezing, which is a good thing. I, have, I think I must have got some dust from somewhere around the back of that house. Um, I'm on my way somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see some, uh, some little people who miss me a lot, I'm sure. See you there. Get and go, Katil. Katil. Oh. Yeah. Anna. Okay, thank then. you. Ahmad. I'm arrived into Tagum, but I've got to scam myself in first.
I think some little people have been waiting for me, but surprise. Hello. 